Well, we want to welcome you to the um, 2012 season of Flashlight Drags. You know what this really is? The 2012 season. Yeah. It's true, but you know, it's 10 years. Amazing how long it's been. We started this in Zillianople in 2002, Quaker City 2002. 10 years later, we still haven't figured it out. Just on a whim. Yeah. So this year we're back at Waynesburg. We're not we're not chasing uh, windmills and going up to to uh, Quaker City this year. We're not going to say it or sunset. Um, try as we will, those things just didn't work out for us. But this year we're down in Waynesburg, and it's Waynesburg is they're happy to have us. That's what that's what I like about going back to Waynesburg is welcoming them with open arms. Yeah, again. Green County folks, if you if you haven't been there with us to, at the Flashlight Drags, the people from Green County are just. They couldn't. They couldn't be nicer to us. The the county commissioners, the parks and recreation, uh, and even the prisoners come out and help us out do these events. So Green County is not like any other place. They they welcome us. And, it's America. And, and we need you guys to help support the whole event. Uh, and we'll just we'll try to make it the best we can for you. Uh, again, making few changes this year. Not a whole lot of crazy changes, but uh, we're looking at. Um, just go onto the website. The rules are still there. We're still looking for registered street legal cars. It is still street racing without the jail time. We're still going to do a big dog class. We're still going to do a tuner class. And uh, the what was it? Top street is the is the fast guys without the fifty thousand dollar motors in their car. Exactly. And um, we're looking at um, uh, making it easier for guys to come the long haul trailers. There, yeah, there are places to park your trailer. We don't really want to get into a, uh, this guy drove his trailer, I drove my car, I drove my car seven miles, and he trailered his 70 miles he should have driven. Yeah. Well, you know, we want you guys to understand that the, the people trailer their cars for different reasons, but if it's a matter of if they're street legal or not, we'll send you down to the 7-Eleven and have you come back with a milkshake or something for us to prove that you're a street car. You know, yeah, we've, done it, we've done it before. I was going to say, you know what, I'm trailering my car this year. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. You know, and, and again, we've got enough room at the airport, and God knows there's a Walmart right across the street, and what's Sam Walton? I think he's still alive. They let you park trailers in the Walmart parking lot. Your motorhome, your, your camper, whatever, you can go park your trailer up there. There were plenty of trailers up there last year. I went up to uh, get some change for one of the gates, and uh, there were about a half dozen trailers parked up there. Yeah. It's a beautiful thing. So, flashlight. Don't forget to bring your wife back from Walmart, though. Oh, yeah. Pl so plenty, of, plenty of shopping up at Walmart. <laughs> uh, we're going to work with the local food bank this year. The, that all information will be on the website. We're going to have, uh, trying to have a children's area so you can bring your kids out, and they're, they're going to be all hopped up on uh, the Nutty Barbarians cotton candy, and now we can go send them into a space bouncer, and they can bounce the rest of the afternoon away. So we're trying to make a, a, a vendor midway for folks. There will be people from the local antique shops and the artists and craftsmen from the area are going to come out and support us. And we're just really kind of getting our roots into Waynesburg. And uh, just send us ideas. Send us something you'd like to see. Yeah. How about... Uh, and we know you're up against uh, higher gas prices again this year. but um, Yeah, yeah. You know, we're, we're going to make it better for you. We have a lot of different ways. Yeah, we're looking at um, uh, we we're keeping the cost the same. Our costs continue to rise. Insurance is just absolutely crazy, and the portagons <laughs> they're very expensive. So use them and, and enjoy them. <laughs> but um, but we have to do we use we have often. to raise sponsors and sponsor dollars are what's keeping the flashlight drags alive in Waynesburg. We're also going to do an event program this year. We're playing around with kind of uh, tickling the edges of a magazine to come out, and uh, we're going to have some really cool stories in these event programs. We have advertising, certainly, which will support it, but we're, we're going after the guy that's been building the car in his two-car garage or his one-car garage and is, has something to be really proud of. Absolutely. Uh, uh, Turk, no, Turk's, Turk's a grassroots builder. builder. Uh, of some acclaim, I might add. He's uh, had cars featured in Hot Rod Magazine, and uh, the one he's going to bring out to the... We're going to see that this year at, yes. at Waynesburg? Yeah. is 32 Ford Roadster pickup truck that is... <laughs> a little over the top. It's a little over the top, <laughs> as only Turk can do it. So uh, come out and see us. 
we welcome feedback. Uh, that we're going to stick this on YouTube under Flashlight Drags page, and it'll be on our website. So uh, we just wanted to kind of reach out to you and say we're getting ready to go. We're a little bit more than six weeks away. Uh, insurance mm -hmm. is in the works right now. The application's been filed. Green County's approved it. Sponsors are excited about it in Waynesburg and in Greene County. And, uh, and new lights are being built for the oh, event. Yeah. Win lose yeah. light, the starting light. Uh, good changes, good for the racer, even better for the spectator. So bring your family. It is a spectator sport. Yeah, you see these cars going down the highway all the time, and you wonder if they really do <laughs> run. Come on, witness it for yourself. Yeah. It's an awesome thing. Yeah. It is, it is. We, you know, Turk and I said 10 years ago, and I bring that up again, but we said we'd do it as long as it's fun. Um, still fun. We still love to see the excitement in somebody's face when he pulls into that lot and says, I've been working on this for three yeah. years, and I'm glad you guys are still here. Uh, yeah. So there are a lot of cars that are still being built for the flashlight drags. Come on and see them. You'll have a good time. It's worth a, worth a good Sunday afternoon. It's the best bang for your buck. Yeah, it is. Best deal on wheels. <laughs> Any more? Any more cliches? Hershey, but awfully quiet going. behind the camera. Our good buddy Hirsch is here. You know, he's too ugly to be on camera, but uh, we love him anyway. So that's it for this, uh, our home opener video. Yeah, thanks for watching. Perfect.